generally result in their arrest, whether that's justified or not. So we're going to be working with them in a proactive way to ensure that journalists are able to actually get in and cover these protests um, uh, from a reasonable and safe distance, as opposed to being pushed so far back that they can't get a shot. But that's something that has to be done proactively, because the fact of the matter is that whether the order, whether we feel the order is justified or not on the ground, journalists do have to listen to what the police are telling them during a protest. Uh, because if not, the journalists, the, the police can still arrest them and that doesn't help anybody. Peut-être pour ajouter à ça, euh, dans la discussion sur les, les règles de base dont on discutait, cette question-là est soulevée de dire il faut, il faut que la, les journalistes laissent une distance raisonnable aux policiers pour pouvoir faire leur travail, mais il faut aussi que les policiers donnent aux journalistes la possibilité d'avoir euh, une vue sur la scène, de pouvoir enre enregistrer le son. Euh, donc, ça, ça fonctionne dans les deux sens, puis c'est un travail Qui va, se, qui va se poursuivre dans d'autres discussions. On s'est laissé il y a quelques minutes euh, sur la conclusion que c'était une première rencontre, qu'il y en aurait d'autres et qu'on allait travailler justement à préciser le, comment dans, opérationnellement cette, euh, cette, cette réalité-là peut être, euh, peut, être, euh, peut, peut être réalisée, donc d'avoir à la fois les, les journalistes qui peuvent faire le travail et les policiers qui font l'heure, et ça, euh, en toute sécurité de part et d'autre. Do you think that we could raise sensitization among the station towards the journalists? And like, I mean, are you gonna, is there going to be any proactive kind of steps taken by the different stations to push sensitivity towards the journalists? Uh, to push, sorry, sensitivity towards the journalists. Well, that's what this meeting is all about. Was that we we have open lines of communication, specifically between 99% Media and CUTV, uh, and the Link and the McGill Daily. Uh, I'm correcting all of those. Uh, who, uh, so there is a good coalition of independent media now who is speaking to the SPDM uh, to absolutely raise the sensitivity about those issues. We know that in terms of the mainstream media, they're also meeting with FPJQ. Um, so there is lots of ongoing discussion. And based on the tone of this meeting, it certainly seems like the SPDM is willing to work with journalists to make sure that this is uh, that they're able to do their jobs well. Uh, the, there were two main issues that they raised, which is that they want to uh, ensure that journalists are basically a safe distance from the action, especially when there is uh, an individual arrest going on. Um, and I, we don't think that's a problem. Uh, and we said, we also said that we're happy to stay a safe distance uh, when there's an arrest going on, but you need to allow us to still get our shots as opposed to pushing us back and pushing us back and pushing us back. So there is a there's a lot of compromise that can happen. The SPVM certainly seems to understand what we're asking for, and they're very willing to meet with us. Uh, and like I said, they'll be giving, they will be uh, coming down with some ground rules for journalists to follow on the ground, um, and they will also be at the same time uh, sending those down to their officers uh, so that they are aware of how to identify journalists. And the identification will not be based on certification, but it will be based on behavior. So people who are acting like professional journalists will be treated like professional journalists. Uh, and that is, again, with whether this actually this action actually happens will remain to be seen, that we have to have a protest actually happen uh, in order to, to uh, see that SPVM is, is uh, acting on all their promises. Uh, but we have every uh, reason to believe that these promises are made in good faith, and this will be an ongoing, uh, an ongoing conversation. They also emphasize the fact that there will be just as there are some journalists who push things too far occasionally, there are police officers who push things too far. And that's a problem, especially in these heated uh, uh, protests when things turn violent. There's a risk that that will happen. Uh, and they said likely incidents like that will happen again. But the open, again, the channels of communication will be open so that we can get in touch with the, the, uh, the communications, media relations people at the SPDM. And they will talk to us and do their best to to uh, make things right in the same way that if a journalist is acting poorly, they'll be able to get in touch with their outlet and make things right in that regard. Have you talked about the question of the security officers? That means that the journalists who are in the interior of the security officers, the question has been asked. In the discussion, La discussion reste embryonnaire à ce stade-ci. Euh, ce, ce qui est clair de la part du SPVM, c'est que si des journalistes se font euh, encercler dans une souricière, euh, 
qu'il est possible pour les journalistes de sortir, mais il faut qu'ils fassent dès que la souricière est formée et pas qu'ils attendent à la fin de la souricière, euh, qu'ils euh, qu attendent d'être amenés au centre de détention ou euh, d'être... Euh, donc, euh, dans, dans la, ce que, ce que la, la proposition du SPVM semble être à ce stade-ci, c'est que les journalistes doivent se, se disperser au moment où la manifestation est, est, est déclarée illégale ou en tout cas se retirer de la manifestation pour éviter de se retrouver pris en souricière. Maintenant, si la souricière se forme rapidement et que les, les membres des, des médias se trouvent pris à l'intérieur de la souricière, c'est possible d'avoir... Euh, de, de, de faire sortir les journalistes. C'est d'ailleurs pour ça qu'il y a des, des euh, lignes de communication qui, qui vont s'ouvrir entre les différents groupes euh, de, de médias et le service des communications du SPVM pour permettre aux journalistes de sortir de la souricière. Et ensuite, évidemment, l'autre partie de la souricière, c'est de pouvoir la filmer de l'extérieur, de pouvoir avoir une vue sur les, les interventions policières qui sont faites lors de la souricière. Ça fait partie de toute la discussion sur quelle est la distance raisonnable et comment est-ce qu'on on va pouvoir mettre en pratique tout ça. Ça reste des choses qui vont être discutées euh, plus en détail une fois que, une fois que le SPDN va, va faire cette, sa proposition de règles de base et va, va la soumettre aux journalistes pour, euh, pour évaluation et réflexion. Donc cette question-là pourra être euh, approfondie euh, en temps et lieu. And to add to this point, uh, the issue is also raised in situations where journalists are actually outside of an area that is going to be kettled and they are told by police officers to enter an area that is about to be kettled so that they can be ensnared in the kettle. This was brought up and there was an acknowledgement that this is something that should not be happening. Uh, it, it was very clearly laid out that this is not supposed to be uh, Montreal Police uh, uh, operation standards. Uh, so there is going to be a conversation about trying to limit situations where that kind of thing happens. Any other questions? Anything has been made. Uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, credentials are not going to be used really to identify <laughs> journalists. It's going to be by behavior. Uh, what are the limits to that? I mean, the behavior. So, I, credentials are still useful, um, but they won't be a credential won't be a guarantee of anything. It won't get you, necessarily get you out of a kettle. Uh, it won't uh, necessarily allow you. You know, it won't let you cover more closely than the police feel you should be covering. Um, so what it comes down to is, uh, journalists will should not be taking part in the protests. They shouldn't be chanting. They should. They certainly, if things turn violent, they shouldn't be throwing rocks. They shouldn't be. They shouldn't be arguing or getting in the face of police or obstructing their view uh, so that they can't do their work. So what it comes down to is behaving professionally and being an independent, uh, neutral uh, part. Uh, observer of the protest as opposed to taking part in the protest. This is really what that comes down to. Yeah, don't question, so on peut uh, faire des interviews individuellement. Okay, so we can break off and do individual interviews there then for anyone who likes it. Thank you very much. Merci. Merci.